what's up guys and welcome back to my channel patrol in motion a place for busy people and dream chasers look to achieve their goals in a more efficient way if you're new here welcome on board my name is Ira and i do project management self-improvement and also the occasional lifestyle vlog so be sure to hit the subscribe button i'm sure you're gonna love the content and you want to make sure you see it when it comes out and if you're one of my loyal subscribers you already know I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that bell notification if you haven't already done so. I'm gonna be changing up how often I post very soon. At the moment, I post every other Sunday, but I feel like I'm gonna be posting a little bit more frequent. So make sure you hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. So today's video, guys, has actually been requested by one of my lovely subscribers by the name of Paul. So shout out to you, Paul. He is a student and is already interested in getting into projects management and is asking yo era like how can i get a project management role especially straight after uni or maybe during uni and then it just occurred to me like yo guys graduate roles are gonna start opening up very very soon in the uk i need to get this video out to put people on a game because it's difficult to get a graduate role. I actually got into project management through a graduate scheme and I would say 100% would recommend guys, especially because of how competitive project management is becoming. So if that sounds like you, you're interested in maybe getting into project management, securing your first graduate role in project management or an internship during the year, then make sure you stick around right to the end of this video because I'm going to be giving you some gems in this one to hopefully put you way ahead of your competition so you can secure your first job especially a graduate role let's get popping so first of all i just want to add a little bit of context like i always do like i said i started my career in project management via a project management graduate role and i'm thinking of actually doing a video on my graduate experience i'm not too sure if many people actually even care though <laughs> but if that is something that you would like please give me a thumbs up on this video so i do know that there is some kind of interest or drop a comment down below and i'll make sure i get that out but yeah i would 100 percent recommend doing a graduate role in as much as it wasn't always up and fairy and as glamorous as i thought it was gonna be there are definitely Definitely some clear benefits of doing a project management graduate role. First of all, if you've watched some of my previous videos on what it's like to be a project manager, the real, real, you know, me giving you the tea of it all, you will know, you will know that it can be stressful, it can be high demand, even when things are going wrong on your project and it's not your fault. Guess whose fault it is? It's yours. So yeah, it can be really high pressure, but the beauty of a graduate role is that you are able to learn as you go. You are able to make mistakes and blame it on being a grad. Like, I milk that one. I absolutely milk that as a grad. And you should milk it. That is the whole point. You are taught from the bottom up by professionals, by people that are experienced and you're able to ask as many questions as you like. Also, you get experience delivering projects from day one. If you've watched my other video, how to get into project management with no experience, you'll also know that unfortunately, it is difficult to get into project management with no experience. Not impossible though. But it can be difficult because employers like to see that you have demonstrable experience delivering something. And that is what a graduate scheme will give you from day one. So automatically you're above your peers and you know your 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 earning potential can go up quite quickly. Another great thing about a PM graduate scheme is that generally they'll offer you free PM qualifications and those those qualifications ain't cheap. That's effectively saving or earning an extra two or three K a year. So that is quite nice. And also the starting salary isn't too shabby. Most of them tend to be around the 30k mark or slightly higher and also come with bonus as well. So you know there are some perks to this business and after you finish the graduate scheme or even before you finish the graduate scheme your earning potential will just skyrocket so definitely one to consider if you're looking to get into project management i would definitely say it is your fastest route in and your earliest route in securing some kind of experience during university or a graduate scheme so let's 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 talk about how you can do that so that you can start getting ahead as a project manager 
Right, so number one, in order for you to be able to secure that PM graduate role, the first thing you need to do is a bit of research into project management. Do your research, guys. A lot of people, especially when they start off in uni, etc., don't even know what project management is. I feel like it's not one of those things that you say when you're younger. I want to be a project manager when I grow up. Like, no one said that. Even myself, I didn't even know I wanted to be a project manager until third year uni. So make sure you do research understand what kind of things you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis do some research on youtube there's plenty of videos especially my videos i mean go check them out <laughs> what you don't want to do is do a pm graduate role and really really absolutely hate it completely because it's just really not anything you want to do try to avoid doing that do a little bit of research to begin with and at least that way you won't waste too much of your time all right so you've done that you have an interest in it now it's time to get your cv and your cover letter right what does that look like for a graduate role or internship they are not expecting you to have pm experience experience in fact they expect you to have no pm experience so if you have no pm experience wonderful you're in a good place already i don't want you to be put off like oh i haven't done anything to do with pming before yada 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 and all of that it's irrelevant what you do need to do though is focus on what are employers looking for in a project manager what are those key skills they are looking for in a project manager so that is communication skills stakeholder management budgeting skills negotiation skills being able to use the microsoft office suite very well and effectively um planning skills time management skills those are the kind of things that employers want to be able to see in your cv and it kind of just lets them know oh okay cool this person you know they haven't got the experience but they have the the the, the backbone of the skeleton you know no, no, they ain't got the legs yet or they ain't got the skull but they got they got, they got a little bit of spine there's something there that we can build on another cv tip is to try to bring out what you have delivered or what you have actually done as an individual in your day-to-day -day life in your hobbies in your side hustle whatever you got going on as a project manager you will be responsible for doing certain things you will be responsible for getting things from a to b so try to think of examples in your life where you have got something from a to b it might have been that you're part of a society and you organized uh, a society ball that is super that's basically a project in itself try to look in your life where you have created something out of nothing and how you got from a to b people like to see the steps that you've taken have you planned did you have to talk to lots of different people to go and get menus and stuff like that did you have a budget you had to keep to were you organized did you have a team how many people in your team how did it all come together try to use examples of that if you don't feel like you have any examples of that that's also fine do not be discouraged but try to look in other aspects in your life or perhaps previous job roles where you have created a new process or worked with a team to deliver something to the business of value those are the kind of things that we really want to see in your cv which will just let the potential employer just know that okay this person i mean they they might not be able to deliver a two million pound project but i bet if i give them 10k you know they could probably do something that is all they want to see some places will also want to see a cover letter make sure you bring out those actions that you have done to deliver something in your cover letter as well make it really really concise research the company guys don't do that whole i'm gonna copy and paste and just change the name of the company guys like no they they can tell try to make it as personalized to that company as possible so now you sorted out your cv and that's all good than that right it is time to start applying like today today not yesterday today apply sorry that was very dramatic but what i'm trying to say is this video is dropping and we are in october that means that in the uk graduate roles are starting to open up a lot of grads don't usually jump on the graduate schemes as soon as they come out and they leave it too late but now the competition's ahead of you i want you to be ahead of the competition graduate schemes will start to open up from september so actually we we probably even a month out but start to look now the time is now while you're slipping you're slipping in your dorms your mate is out there 
Write an application, securing your job. Stop it, wake up. This is not the time to snooze. This is not the time to do freshers, especially if you're third year. It's time for you to get on your application search. Now, luckily for you guys, especially because I have a heart for fellow PMs, I want more people getting into project management. I'm gonna have a list of some of the more popular graduate scheme and also some of the less popular graduate schemes down below in the comments there are quite a few even though they're not as many as some other kind of roles or occupations but they are out there most of them tend to be in the tech space or the rail space if you're not really interested in those kind of things keep looking but once again like i said it's always great to put your foot in the door and then maybe pivot to an industry that you're more interested in you do not need any experience once again in tech i did my graduate scheme in a tech firm no prior experience hadn't got a clue about any of the servers or databases that they were talking about yet i managed to do something useful there they will teach you as you go so do not be discouraged but have a thorough look places to look for graduate schemes literally do a google search write in graduate schemes uk project management or rearrange what i just put there it's really that simple for graduate roles use places such as milk round google jobs read indeed these are uk recruitment sites so you can also find perhaps smaller graduate schemes that are not as competitive as well don't just focus on the big names especially the ones that you know might pay a little bit more because once again it's not about the money at this stage it is really about getting your foot in the door being able to build yourself up that is valuable and your earning potential will skyrocket after that believe me make sure you utilize your student services as well universities sometimes have relationships with certain companies and an agreement to have like a certain number of students go to that company to do work experience as well so you might be able to get some experience a bit faster that way guys when you're searching for roles as well search long and far don't just think if i'm in london i'm only looking for london roles no 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 do you want to know why as a project manager ideally you should be flexible to to move around location wise in the UK as much as possible. The reason for this is say you get a job in the UK in London and you're so happy yet then they say you need to go to a client in Leeds. Guess where you're gonna be during the week? In Leeds. It gets a bit techie especially when you've only looked for places in london it can happen so try to spread your wings be open to relocating at this stage it'll work out for you in the long run and on that note try to do as much research into these graduate roles to make sure that it's going to be appropriate for you if for example you do have to stay in london that's your hometown you have dependencies there don't apply to graduate roles where you may be required to travel and see clients all over the uk or even abroad sometimes saying no to that travel might mean that you won't be able to secure that job and it would have been a lot of effort you put in to get it the interviews etc it will be such a shame another tip for searching for graduate roles is to just go on to companies that you're interested in or you have some kind of affiliation with just go onto their careers page and search for graduate project management roles some of them are not really well advertised but if you go onto their website you'll find out that actually yo you got you got a role here why why didn't i know this mm. if you couldn't find it that easily someone else couldn't find it that easily more chance of you getting that role think about it so after that you're gonna get to the interview stage and the interview stage is going to be very different for different companies usually there'll probably be a couple of interviews a virtual interview a physical one and then an assessment center after and then hopefully you've got the job but it may differ you might have to do an exam you might have to do an assessment who knows for the ones that i applied to i actually didn't have to do any type of assessment or exam anything like that so that was in the bag because I didn't really want to do that. I just wanted to be interviewed, let them see me for me um, and then take it from there. One thing you should be prepared for though is doing some kind of presentation. All of the grad schemes that I went for, especially the project management ones, always had some kind of presentation. And it's really, really key that you stand out in that presentation. When you're doing that presentation, make sure you're giving good eye contact, make sure you're standing up strong, confident showing them i like to interact with people you should hire me 
I'll be great at this job. Even if you're not that confident, speaking publicly is something that you should start working on now because as a project manager, you will need to do a lot of that. When you're doing the presentation, always try to bring a prop or make it a bit more creative. Don't just do a generic PowerPoint. Perhaps start with a pun or something like that. Just try to do something that's gonna, you know, allow your audience or your interviewer to know that you're personable, you're creative, and you're also trying to build a rapport with them along the way. So the last tip I would give guys is if you are really failing or you're struggling to find a graduate role or get through the processes and all of that, or you want to find an internship, but you can't find that many project management internships, maybe in your first year or second year of university, that's absolutely fine. Sometimes when there's nothing that exists, you have to create it or more so ask a company to create it for you. Don't be afraid to reach out to small organizations, put yourself forward, write them a letter, call them up and say, hiya, I'm on a course of this, doing this. I'm interested in being a project manager and I believe that I have these kind of characteristics which will be an asset to you. You also have these kind of skills that I would love to learn from you. Let's put that together and make magic make a role for me I'm the solution to all your problems it's that easy guys good things happen to those who are bold you have nothing to lose by trying to reach out to an organization to get them to make a role for you especially if you're willing to take a lower salary or just have your expenses covered etc remember 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 it's so key that you get some kind of experience early on in order to give yourself the best chances of getting your foot into project management. It doesn't need to be a massive role. It just needs to be something that will help you get your leg in. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you're looking to get into project management and you're looking at graduate roles, do drop a comment down below. Make sure you like this video and let me know that this is kind of helpful for you. If you have any more questions, drop it down below once again and I'll try to help out as much as I can. And if you're not even that interested in project management, that's all good, but do please share this video and subscribe so that somebody else that may need this content will get it. And also some companies actually do rolling graduate schemes where they hire throughout the whole entire year. So make sure you look out for those if say you were unsuccessful in third year and you weren't able to secure a graduate role it's not the end for you it really just isn't make sure you always have your eyes out and i'll see you in my next video